Greetings, fellow citizens. Yes, it is that time when winter is over. We are once again in spring. Finally, the yields of berries, honey, wheat, hop, grapes, apples is reduced. But milk, herbs, and especially wool is increased by 25%. Also, it's finally getting a bit more friendly again. So we had a very long winter there. We survived it quite well, I should say. And look at that, how much different it is looking without winter. I think the winter is really putting a very strange filter over these buildings. And now we can see some textures again. The first thing that we need to do in spring is, well, promotions. We got lots of them. Promote serfs. Uh, we got lots of them. And promote commoners. We got lots of them. So let's just promote all of them at once. This will cost us some coin. But coin is something that we have plenty of right now as my market is looking fantastically fine with the income. And people just really, really love fish. So fish is my best seller for now. Um, and I'm really happy about that. Now, the thief also hasn't struck really anymore, except at the... I think it's this one here that is being attacked here all the time. Um, but it's just a bit of wool that I lack with that. Um, we got three shepherds. We're still making plenty of that, and my cloth is going up again. So we're just going to accept it for now. Right. Now, next up, we do have this quest here, deliver the 30 berries. We have now enough berries, so let's just turn this one in right away. And this will give me another 200 coin on top of that. Perfect, so we are back up to the 700 coin almost immediately because we are also selling stuff, of course. And with that, I would like to do something now. So up to this point, promotions were only available up to the commoner. And I would like to focus on citizens now, the next higher tier of people that we can have in the village. What should we do for that? Well, let's just have a look at my people there. And they have the comfort, they have the service. Well, the comfort, of course, this guy, he doesn't have the comfort. This is a bad example there. We need a commoner, right? So the commoner has it. And the commoner has everything here, as we can see, except entertainment. Entertainment is the missing form. And once this one has been fulfilled, we can promote them to citizens. Now, what should we do about that? Well, we need a market. We need a, a fair, basically, a, a well... An amusement park, you should see. And for that, I do need some space. And we do have this territory there. Let's just have a look. It will cost me 500 coin. We can afford that. It will definitely also reduce my average daily balance there once more. But still, I would like to have this spot because here we do have this nice cliff where it's close enough to the village and also in a nice location with a nice overlook, but not too close to the village, right? So we can still have some buildings in between. I would like to get this one. And here we're going to make our medieval fair, our, well, beautiful area where people can just enjoy their day. Let's just go ahead and have a look where we actually might find it. So there it is, the medieval fair. It's a modded thing, right? So this is a mod and this mod also enables the entertainment and also enables the medieval fair that we need to place then. And this is something, yep, I would definitely like to have over here. So let's just place it and we get lots of buildings available for that. And some of them are actually doing something for my entertainment. And there we have also the market stalls that I could use, right, for luxury and for goods. And then here we have the entertainment. So of course I could have several medieval fairs working if I want to. Um, but this one here is the one that I want to go for now. And we're going to start easy because it's costing me a lot of resources. And we need to make sure that this is really working. The first thing we need is a stage. So there we got it. That's the first important thing here where someone can actually uh, perform something. And yeah, let's have this one right next to the cliff so people have a beautiful view over the stage there as well. The cool thing is it's also a bit lower than the area around, uh, up above it so if we have a seating now let's just see what we have we can have a covered seating this one actually cost me some 10 cloth as well but i think it's going to be worth it and this one we can have then over here where people can then actually watch what is happening at the stage is that too close i think it's fine let's have it here right so there is our stage and we could then or we should still have some stairs then also for this for the stage of course so there we have the stairs and for the the audience we also need something and this one we probably should have them on the back it's a bit hard to see here right now because of all the trees the trees will of course most of them then disappear at some point this is well the stage for now um we could then also have for example a fortune teller <laughs> we want that a jousting we have a lot of stuff here and then we have also some banners that we can use and an entrance of course for that medieval fair i don't think we have a fence here there's a wooden barrier that we can add. 
but I'm probably going ahead with a normal one. So this is actually it, what we need right now, right? It's very basic looking and we can then expand it, of course. But entertainment is uh, the important thing here. Let's build it. That's going to take a while here before we can do anything with that. And I hope we do have enough builders assigned. We got the three builders perfect, right? So entertainment it is. And yes, my builders are already on its way. There's also the streets them forming. And I might also have this one as an extraction zone so that we just get rid of any trees. We can still then add trees as, re as, as decorations, basically. And that's probably a very good idea. Um, here almost all the trees are gone and here almost all the trees are gone. That's basically it. My hops is also coming along very slowly. We only have one hop farmer there at the moment. So we got four hops in. And with that we can make beer later. But I probably build it a bit too early the hops plantations there and as we can see there's a real street already appearing right now and this is just perfect because we can use this entrance here now as means to get our fence going right so we can have a wall of course i would probably go ahead with a stone wall for this one here a nice one a nice looking one and then also here we can have a gate of some sorts Do we have a gate there? I think, yeah, not this gate there, of course. I need to select my world fair, uh, my, my medieval fair here, not my world fair. And here we can then have the wooden gateway. There it is. Right, so that's kind of like an entrance point to this one. There you go. And I think, yep, then we can have also these banners on top of that to beautify this a bit. I would like to have it on the other side. There you go. By costing me a bit, but that's fine, of course. And then do we please have some fences or so? Oh, that's also pretty cool here. Yep. Those shields that we can have then right next to it. Some proper looking shields, perhaps. On that side. And on that side here, marking the entrance to our medieval fair. And then we have the gate. Unfortunately, we only have this type of gate. So I'm going to probably do a normal gate here that we have. Right, so I can just have it then right next to that. And this one is basically now surrounding the whole medieval fair then. And also here, so that no one jumps off the cliffs. Perfect. So people will really need to enter now with, uh, through the gate here. The cool thing is we already can see the decorations, but the gate itself still needs to be built. That should be an easy task though. There it is. Perfect. The stage has been set as well. Still needs to be built. Oh, and then we can now assign an actor to this one here. We got lots of unemployed people, so there must be someone that is really into um, the whole acting. The gate is also finished. I can't believe how good this is all coming together, as we can see. There's also now the audience then, and there's already our actor, but he's kind of like waiting only. There's nothing really happening for now. And he kind of like thinks, what the hell am I doing here? Just give it time. We still have lots of trees here, though. I would really like to get rid of most of them. I will remove some extraction zones over here so that we speed up the... The chopping down of trees then in the area where we actually want it right now. Up here we don't really need to chop down trees anymore. Alright, so let's get rid of that. So we, my workers are not getting confused. And up here let's also stop the chopping down for now. That's the important thing. And as we can see there's already some people coming. But I don't know what they're really doing. Oh, these were the workers I think only. Oh, okay, they're actually going to him directly to get their entertainment. Is that right? Yes. All right, so they're not really watching here right now. This is looking in the right direction, though it is. They're kind of like going to his stage there immediately. Okay, now this is definitely a success. It is working. People are flooding to that. And, ah, nice. We are also chopping down the remaining trees here, like that one. And I'm also really glad that the entrance is working so fine. And then we're just going to add more and more stuff here over time, right? So there's also, of course, some tents that we can add. But of course, it's all costing us. So I don't want to, to place too many things at once. 
Um, we got the market tents. We could have our own market in this area still too. So a second market perhaps. Um, and then we have the fortune teller, right? So this one there, um, we could actually have it for now. A fortune teller perhaps. Probably needs a tent over it then too, like that. Right? And then a fortune teller chair here in the center. But how much, how much does it cost me? Yeah, 24 planks already. This single one there and 10 cloth. I don't have that or I don't want to use it for that right now. So unfortunately, I will need to clear those changes only for now though. So for now, we can just keep them. And I think then with the next month, we should be able to get our first, our first citizens into this game, right? Hopefully they have then everything sorted out for them. So entertainment that that is. And since it actually is only this stage, I might be thinking of a second medieval fair with just a stage somewhere in the city center because I think walking distances are quite long at the moment but that's that's something for later and also what i didn't know is that entertainment can be sold right so it's, it's another source of income there so we are getting gold coins out of that and as we can see 12 sold this week for 24 coins for example it's actually pretty cheap but anyway what can you do about it and he's producing kind of like the entertainment then and that means since we are constantly at zero i think we will need second stage really because otherwise one is not enough to produce enough entertainment for everyone okay needy times once more we need to assist with wood um let's go with the king once more because this one gives me the oh we actually there it is we can finish it right away get some coins out of that as well all right here a new month is coming and with that promotions i'm really excited about them so we do have a couple of them available lots of people to commoners um in that case here and they're finally for the first time promote two citizens these will have their new needs in goods and luxury goods especially and they cost 200 each which is insane that cost we can probably go with three citizens for now let's go ahead and assign the first three citizens um two promotions and then probably also a couple more to commoners here so two more i can then assign as well but money is flooding in anyway with that we do get new buildings available with uh, that the gold smelter for example so that's something new and here in the processing also the glass smelter that makes glass possible for the first time um so there people are getting a bit more needy they want more stuff and with that we should also be seeing the first tier three buildings then soon as these citizens of course want to live in proper places four more villagers are joining this is a bit of a fast growth rating there right now because i have no idea how i should accommodate these more people there i know i know with well the iron mine over here we can finally use it now our first iron deposit and i can now add a quarry to this one here produces the iron for that however we do oh yes we do need to get it within the territory right and what i can also see is with that i hope i get this one here in too because these territories are really expensive and we need to be very careful of what we want to expand i want this one and i also want this territory here now as well where we can then expand further right so that's pretty important with the money i'm making right now i might actually be thinking about another citizen let's just go ahead while the promotion is still working right another citizen and two more to commoners there commoners are our cash cows for now right the citizens are only there for unlocking new buildings and probably also see the first tier three houses but the commoners are the ones that are making us the most money because they just purchase everything we don't have goods for the citizens yet so they are not going to purchase that much more than the commoners all right that medieval fair is really under pressure there <laughs> lots of people coming to it and i still we have six unemployed that's that's of course definitely a problem there we need a bit more money though before i can start with my quarry mm, the six unemployed how can i use them do we have any available there right now the shepherds ah there's a shepherd missing perfect i guess they're dying at some point i don't know why we're losing people then from time to time it's not that many but it's still happening quite often charcoal burner is fine this one is fine this one is working a second carpenter perhaps fisherman is fine Four more unemployed we're going to work on them soon there is the house upgrading perfect but i don't think it's a tier three building yet also really busy here in the city area i love that these smaller streets are being used really just add so much life to the whole settlement all right we got the coin at least um coming in so let's purchase this territory now 
there you go perfect and with that we can now finally build our first quarry so there it is the iron quarry um we do have them some other buildings attached to that um requires to be attacked attached ah there it is all right like so pretty big is that the only thing that we need to have here no nope we still also need to have a resource go to this one there's the crane more crane there you go small crane on top of it and the crane has a resource depot on top of that that's 45 planks that we consume with that and 20 tools for a basic first quarry here for the iron ore let's go ahead and get this one cracking so my builders will have uh, quite a busy time ahead of them now we got all three of them assigned and the unemployed well we can use them for this then now since the iron ore is then coming in we already have the coal we can also get an iron smelter going this one produces iron out of coal and iron ore that we will be producing then in this area for that i will probably need to expand a bit more um i think over here we could use it this area it's far away enough and i'm pretty sure that the iron smelter is quite dirty and as we can see there's the radius also where it is reducing the attractiveness of the surrounding area so i definitely would like to have it not too close to my people really right here in my already existing industrial zone we can then place this next building the iron smelter is it looking proper here i think it is looking in the right direction then too perfect let's build it actually quite expensive the iron smelter and then of course the blacksmith that produces the tools out of that um also in this area then and very important that we look out that these buildings are within the range of my security tower right so i certainly don't want to be i want to tools or iron ore to be stolen by thieves if that is avoidable at all so we have the smelter here and then we can squeeze in the toolsmith in this area too working just fine really i just need to make sure that it's actually looking the right direction this is looking fine and it's very close to my iron smelter then as well so those two new buildings that's also of course more jobs coming in and jobs is what we need in our tiny well is it actually becoming a city i think it is because we got citizens now and the citizens are living in a city obviously so we are a city by now i think also my bailey found quartz in my next uh, resource deposit that is really cool quartz is something that we're going to need for i guess glass then and something like that it's pretty far away still but we can use it then for later how's the mine coming along we are already building the resources are here very nice um and we definitely need more tools so i need to purchase these tools and we are also full on coin so i can use this now to purchase this territory there you go another one and another way of actually spending all that coin and over here well i got lots of plans for this area we are going to have first of all more residential zones here they are living close to the cliffs then and also a new lord manor that we are going to need for the splendor points um, let's also make this an at, at, uh, extraction zone right away so let's chop down these trees here this is becoming an official city area now that we can then use to further expand there you go all the way here to the cliffs as i said Trees is always something we can then plant afterwards again in certain locations. That's a lot of trees that we can chop down now. How is my lumber camp looking? Three woodcutters are assigned and the wood is then being processed in my sawmill. Let's also assign a third carpenter to this one here so we can process more wood. And the charcoal burner, let's also assign another one here to process even more wood because that's basically all we need to get rid of. Here, the iron smelter and the blacksmith have all the resources except the tools. And tools is something that we purchase from the market or from the the trader right because we got the the trade route active for tools that's working out boy it's lively it's really busy this whole village there and we're really just waiting for the quarry now to finish and by the way i've also changed berries oh actually not we have berries for so to sell sale right now um, I'm switching between berries and fish all the time because we're still not making enough bail, uh, berries. I've got six foragers working there. It's not enough. So when, whenever berries is going down, like now, we are changing it to fish. Which fish is higher again, right? Because it's replenishing. Um, and then we can sell some fish again. I can, of course, have another market. But I'm not going to add another market here because I have another plan. I want this area here to become a big market area rather sooner than later so once we start having residents here too everyone will flock to the, the center so this warehouse probably will need to go at some point but that's something that's another whole project 
right now it's all about the iron and the tools ah, and the money is coming in so quickly we will need more treasuries so that's also a very important why i need another lord manor but yeah as i said we cannot do all, everything at once this game is very slow when it comes to progressing but in a very good way because it feels organic and dynamic right as we have to do it slowly but steadily that's basically it we got fine weather again the market is busy the city is busy building lots of people are also going to the fair now that is a new addition so far so good it's looking more and more like a medieval city stay tuned <laughs>